happened. It has already happened. As we are talking here, the date for the traditional marriage has already been fixed. Mama, have I ever insulted you? Have I ever done anything wrong to you? Yes, you have. You have deliberately refused to give my son a child. And you and your mother have diabolically blinded his eyes and heart towards taking another woman. But let me tell you something. It will not happen anymore. Leave my mother out of this. I am not leaving anybody out of this. This is just the beginning. Do you understand me? Let me advise you. It will be better for you to go inside, pack your things and leave my son's house before the kindreds will throw you out. so much. Oh. And our marriage is a happy one. Is your a thing to be proud of. <laughs> Don't you make it hell for me. Uh, Collins, let me tell you. If you think I believe all this thing you are saying, go and think again. Nonsense. I need to come on our only. Rubbish. Shown her enough respect and regard as a mother in law. Why is she treating me like this? Why? She's just been a mother. You know how all these old and retired primary school teachers behave. She's getting on my nerves. I can't endure this any longer. Yes, you will. This is just a taste of faith, patience, and confidence. You must not fail. I knew this would happen when you told me she was coming visiting. That's why I wanted to go to my mother. I knew it would happen. Your running away because of her coming will make matters worse. That's the deputy's attitude. I love you so much, Carol. And I'll stand solidly behind you all the time. 
You have my support, okay? insulted me the way you did in front of that little girl. I'm sorry, Mama, but she's my wife. So, will she be the first woman to be married to somebody? Eh? This is the modern age. Oh. I mean, we've had stories of a woman's inability to bear a child. Mama, you've always told me God's time is the best. Mm. Look at my sister Eunice. Eunice's case is different. Oh yes, it took her six years to get pregnant. But look at her today. Eunice has six children. Oh, you see. Do you understand me? But what about your wife, Carol? Carol's time will come. It took Eunice six years to have a child. You have been living with Carol for the past 14 years. Come on, Collins, look at yourself. How old are you? Why do you play such a fool over such a serious matter? Eh? Mama, let's postpone this talk for another day. Then you would have come down. Me? Come down? There's no coming down. No. Let me tell you something, Collins. I think it is about time you listen to your mother for once. You know something? You love your wife, yes! But who cares about that? Who cares about it? All people care about is where are his children? Where is your son? Where is your daughter? That is what they care about. Collins and Sammy, where are your children? Gabifa! Mama. I would like you to see Carol as your daughter and put her in your prayers so that one day she could bear us a child. I am Norma. See who has a daughter. <laughs> in her back mom. That man you put in your house. Let me tell you something, Collins. When you are serious enough to discuss this matter, you let me know. No sense. What I did. Don't cry. Don't cry anymore. It is gonna be alright. Pain. Be strong. I love you. You're the love of my life. Come here, darling. Come and give me a hug. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at you. And what on earth do you feed this child with? Well, that's where my salary goes to. How are you, darling? I'm oh, fine, thank you. It's been such a long time. Yeah, she's been in school. She just came over on a meeting break to celebrate her birthday. Really? Mm -hmm. How old are you now, darling? I was 12 years. Really? Chica, that was a toddler when you, when you started at the office. Yeah. You mean it's been 12 years already? <laughs> she actually came to invite you over to her birthday party tomorrow. Really? Sweetie, give her to the card. 
Thank you, darling. Thank you. <laughs> Carol, I really need to leave. I'm going to my husband's office to drop her off. But I hope I'll see her at the party tomorrow. Of course, but so soon. Why don't you stay and eat something? Now. Some other time, please. I have to leave now. All right. Come, darling. Come and give Auntie a goodbye hug. <laughs> Make sure you take care of your mom, okay? That's a good girl. Mm. My guys are calling, it's okay. Ah, mine to Jake. Oh, let me see you guys all. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, darling. Hear the Risha comment. Does it run? You have deliberately refused to give my son a child. And you and your mother have diabolically blinded his eyes and heart towards taking another woman. But let me tell you something. It will not happen anymore. How old are you now, darling? I will be 12 years old. Oh, my God. Chica, that was just a toddler when you started at the office. Yeah. You mean it's been 12 years already? Yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> She actually keeps inviting you to her birthday party tomorrow. So you give answer the card. Hi, honey. I'm home. Welcome. Thank <laughs> you. What is it? Why are you crying? Crying? I'm not crying. I'm just a little tired. That's oh, all. Come on. I know you. And I know those are tears in your eyes. I'm not crying. I was just carried away by thoughts. That's a what? I told you I had settled things over between you and my mother. That's not it. Anne came here to see me today with her daughter, Chica. Do you know she's 12 years old already? They came to invite me to her birthday party. That's okay. Anne has always been your good friend. You'll go then. When Anne started at our office, Chica was just a toddler. Now she's 12 years old. What's wrong with me? Nothing is wrong with you. And nothing is wrong with me. The doctors have said so. Look, Carol, you must not let things like this bother you. If I had a child, your mother would love and respect me. I love and respect you, and that's the most important thing, sweetheart. And you must not let the antagonism from my family bother you. I love you, I cherish you, and I will support you no matter what. I love you so much. And I cherish every single day that you've been in my life. I only wish I could give you a son or a child to call you father. You will when the time comes. I will always stand by you. All right. Now, why don't you go do some shopping for your friend's daughter? And go and get a present. Drive out. Have fun. Go see a little bit of the town. All right? Okay. step my foot again into Holly's house until he chase away that evil wife of his ah. and get a new wife that will give him children. I'm okay. glad that you feel the same way that I do. Uh -huh. hey. mm -hmm. What have I not done? Mm -hmm. I have talked. I have screamed. I have advised Colin yes. to take another wife that will give him children. Mm -hmm. Manam. <laughs> eh? mm -hmm. After all, it's not a sin. I, our forefathers did it. I don't see what is wrong with taking a wife that will produce children for him instead of allowing that stupid Caroline to deceive him. Yes. The next thing he will say is that, ah, I love my wife. Mm. Well, anyway, I will uh, until now, uh, pass him tomorrow. I love you. You're welcome. Goodbye, my son. How are you? I'm fine. Hey. I'm uh, so, how is your wife? She's fine. And your children? They are all fine. They are going to school. Look at this 
Okay, about to me yesterday. Eh? Has children. How old is he? He has a family with children. Let's hear Collins. How old is Collins? All he talks about is love, love, love. See, the most annoying part of it is that he will not even listen to anyone except his wife. That woman has been in town. Oh, yeah? I, I swear to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, to me, this is not something you all should take to the extreme. Call Collins aside and reason with him. Reason with who? Reason. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, Amadio, let me tell you. If I die without seeing the children of my first son, I'm going to curse the whole kindred of... Mm -hmm. No, Auntie, yeah, you know that. Ah. No, you know that. No. Let me get something for you to drink. No, 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 no listen. There's something we have uh, arranged at the kindred. Mm. Your duty is to bring him home. Mm. That's it. <sighs> Consider that done now. <laughs> well, meanwhile, I will see him at the office tomorrow. Regarding the business that I have with him at Botai Court. Okay. Okay, that's not a problem. I'll bring you home. It's okay. Eh? Hi. Hi, Meanwhile, that was your trip. Ah, it was fine, it was fine. They even said I should greet you. <laughs> your fault. It's your fault. Oh. attend to your meal or, or ask your help to do it. <laughs> so, my son has you as a wife in this house. But he will still have to enter the kitchen and cook. Which means that when I come as a guest, I too will have to enter the kitchen and cook. Eh? I don't blame you. Do you understand me? Well, you're busy hopping around with men. Hopping. God forbid, mama. Your son gave me permission to attend my friend's daughter's birthday party. Look at you. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You are attending other people's birthday party when you cannot even have your own child. Go inside and have your own child. Oh my God is the giver of child. Okay. You don't have to make fun of me. God is the giver. God is the giver. Why are you crying? You should be ashamed. Mama, what is it again? She has been going out, going to parties, eh, and starving me in this house. Where are you going to? Is there any time I go out and something doesn't happen to you and my wife? What are you talking about? I'm telling you that she did not give me food. You're, you're, you're asking me nonsense. Eh? It's not her fault. She had somewhere to go to. I volunteered to prepare a meal, but I forgot. <laughs> you. You want to enter the kitchen and cook when you have a wife. No, 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 no. You should be ashamed of yourself. If I let me away, if I let me away, you're in your cell, mama, mama, in the package. If. Don't cry. Don't cry anymore. It is done. I'm leaving this house and I'm going to my sister's place until your mother leaves. Oh, come on, Carol. Don't be a child. Why do you have to allow my mother to get to you all the time? You weren't there. You didn't hear the things that she said to me. It doesn't matter. You're my wife. You will always be my wife to the end of time. 
Don't forget I love you. She would accuse me of seeing other men. Let her joke around. She's an old woman, her time is gone. I'll always be with you, okay? Sir, there's no one here to see you. He said he's your uncle, Amade. Really? Ask him in. Yes, sir. <laughs> I must say I'm surprised to see you here. Oh, well, uh, why would you? Please sit down. Mm -hmm. Does your wife allow you to visit home and be close to us? Oh, come on, Uncle. I was home four weeks ago. Well, that was because uh, you came to pick your sick mother for a medical treatment here in the city. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how's your family? Oh, we are fine. <clears throat> I came to see you about that business, the palm oil and palm produce supply. See, it's about to start now. So, so this is the time I will really need your financial assistance to push things forward. Um, that's okay, uh, but we have to leave it for now because my wife won't be free until evening. Your wife? What has your wife got to do with our discussion and our business venture? Oh, come on, Uncle. My wife is at the forefront of all my business negotiations. And do, 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 do. Oh, oh, oh. And again, she grew up in Port Harcourt. And she's an expert in cash crop ventures. <laughs> Look, Collins, are, are you mad? Have you lost your values as a man? What are you talking about? That I, Amadi Akudo of Ezinko, came here to see you man to man for business and you are now referring me to your wife come on uncle don't be a primitive character my wife is an essential part of my business and my life that's why i amadi that have never seen a wife before we now uh, 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 table my intentions and plans before a woman colleagues you have no respect I'm sorry you're taking it like that, but I must tell you, my wife is my life in my business. If you don't have regards or respect for her, I'm sorry. You are sorry? Collins, you are telling me that you are sorry? Mm. Okay, okay, no problem. to stay in the village? Uh, three, four days. I should be back by the weekend. Mm. Well, upon your arrival, I'll have your favorite meal waiting. Mm. All right. Are you sure you don't want to come with me? No, I have too much to do at the office. Some other time, perhaps? Okay. Why don't you drive us to the park? Mm. Aren't you taking another car? No, I'd rather go by public transport. I'm not spending long time in the village, so I'm not in the mood for long distance driving. Mm. Okay then. Steam the car and uh, let me get Mama upstairs. All right. All right. Is she the one driving us to the village? Eh? No, she's uh, driving us to the park. 
Look, oh, I know that I'm going to die one day, but I will not die through accident. Okay, Mama. If I drive, will you come in? Hey. Uh -uh. I'll drive, I'll drive. Sit down. Let me do the drive. From what you have told me, it sounds that he truly loves you and he has always been there for you. I know, Mama. I know. Collins has always been a good man. If it were other men, they could have sent you home after 14 years of marriage without a child. Yeah, but it's different. I know he loves me, but I'm scared. The pressure from my mother-in-law and the kindred is too much. Put your trust in God. His mother and the kindred will not do you anything. Put your trust in God. Mama, I'm so scared. God. Why? Why won't you give me a child of my own? It's okay. It's okay. Don't be afraid. God will answer you one day. Hmm? He'll answer you. you will answer our prayers one day and you will be happy. It's okay. Don't waste on him. We are not new to the saying that uh, a responsible man does not stay in the house and watch his goat deliver on titers. Yes. Any kindred that does not find time to be united over some issues can never have progress and they can never be united. You see, under normal circumstances, the issue at hand concerning Collins. It's not something we have to sit down and meet him for. But considering how his father was to us, it would be very shameful for us to fold our arms and watch this boy be laid down in a grave one day without a child to carry his name on. Oh, God forbid. Ah. The entire kindred will be looked upon as dumb fools that has failed in its responsibility to properly advise colleagues. Exactly the point I'm stressing here. That is the point. Collins is a very stubborn man that, uh, that has allowed his wife to derail him. How do we now talk sense into him? Look, I think we should just shift our attention from Collins to that, his dubious wife. You mean Caroline? Exactly. Look, Caroline is the main issue. It's the original headache. The little tongue that have defied water. The agonizing wound. That have refused to heal. Mm. A shameless tragedy that mm. have dis that destroyed my brother's son, Collins. Mm. Hey, my mother, we understand your grievances. We really do. Mm. It is now our grievances. You see, regarding Caroline's underground scheme, we are going to delegate the Omar house to go and have a meeting with her. Ungano, that Caroline with her dubious intentions is stronger than the Omar house. Mm. Exactly. Look, she is no more a woman, but a she-man. Mm. If I should recount what I passed through the other time, I branched over at Collins' house in the city. All of you will pity me. <laughs> Look, can I start to recall my old deal? Mm -hmm. Even Collins' mother has her own trailer load of sad tales concerning the same woman. Mm -hmm. In that case, we must do something about her. In that case, we are going to move as a union to Collins' house for a meeting and deliberation. Yes, I think that will be a waste of time. I think one, we, one thing we should do is that we should all go in one union to a very strong native doctor's place and find uh, out uh, what uh, is the problem. No, 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 no. Not at this modern time. Anyway, my family and I are Christians. See? And so we... Look, see, 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 that is what exactly is, what is killing us. Even Collins, 
No, call him and say, well, I love my wife. My wife loves me. Is that it? Mm. Why the woman will be destroying him underground? Yes. Mm. But Collins is no longer a child, and we should not treat him as one. Mm. Let us invite Collins to a meeting, have a useful deliberation with him, mm. and forget all this talk about his wife, his wife. Look, my wife is the main issue. Ah, here's the problem. How we show that Collins is not responsible for his childlessness? No, 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 no. Mm. That's not true. That's not true. Look, Collins can even pregnant even one fifty-year-old woman. Mm -mm. I tell you, listen to me. That woman has tied him down. Mm -hmm. eh. Don't you know her father? Mm -hmm. She has tied him down. That's In it. that case, we are going to officially turn our back on Caroline, mm -hmm. yes. the wife. Yes. Then we are going to regard him as an outsider among us. Mm. None of us will attend the funeral anniversary of the late father. They are planning to hold very soon. Mm. Yes. Do we agree? Yes. yes. Hey, hey. Do we agree? Yes. yes. Amade, do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Uh, hey, damn, my brothers. Mm -hmm. I beg. Uh, I have something to do at all. Uh, let me go and quickly attend to it. Please permit me. Uh, uh, thank you. Let him go. I don't even know his side. No, no, my, you know, you know his father. I don't know. No, yeah, that is right. what he does always. That was exactly what killed his own father. Good morning. Good morning, Joe. Ah, ma, good morning. Good morning, Loretta. Ma. You're here early today. Yes, ma. Yeah. How's your mom? Fine, thank yeah, you. Eh, Loretta, can you go and clean my son's room? Eh? All those is clothes that are dirty, put them together to wash them for later. Eh? Then please, fetch water, run the bath for him. You know the tap is not running, eh? so mm. he can have his bath. Yeah, thank you, ma. Okay. Ezi Hey! Hey! Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. who was that? Oh, Loretta. And how much do you pay her for all these errands? <laughs> I don't pay her anything. Oh. That is how a proper girl should behave. Are you surprised? And that is why I have arranged with her mom. So that you can marry her. What are you talking about? <laughs> don't worry. There's no problem. I know the next thing you will tell me now is, I'm in love with Caroline. Oh, Mom. I am glad you know that. But let me tell you something. One night, just one night with her, the next day she'll be pregnant. Twins! Hmm? It runs in their family. Mama, I am not interested. Will never be. Whatever arrangement and deal you have with her mother, go and cancel it. Kenny, I won't do that to you. have done that. Mama, you have done that already. Hmm. Oh, oh. This is your plot of bringing me home to get me involved with the second wife. It will not work. I am leaving first thing tomorrow morning. Eh, Collins. Mm -hmm. Collins, check out my fire. Shall we get discussed? Shall we get discussed? Hey, Jima, too. It will just block it. Okay. Eh, hey, it's not like that, Karen. Mm. Eh, hey, but the thing is that yeah, each time I come to the city to buy one or two things, uh, by the time I'll finish, I'll need to be running back to the village. <laughs> Mrs. Businesswoman. <laughs> anyway, how is your husband? Um, everybody is fine. He's fine. <laughs> um, Carol, what is going on between you and your husband? I don't understand. Like what? I know that you and your husband are quarreling. Open up to me. I'm not a new person. <laughs> My husband and I are quarreling. Collins and I. <laughs> what sort of story is this? Well, uh, it's just that I've seen him in the village and uh, he's still there. You, you know, it's unusual. I know he doesn't normally stay this long. I'm surprised he's not here back myself. Mm, that is why I'm asking. Carol, you know that uh, amongst our kindred, you are the one I love coming close to. So, uh, when I overheard your husband and the elders uh, talking about a new wife and uh, how to send you back in, I said, Hold it right there, Monica. What are you talking about? A new wife for who? Are you not aware? A number of times that I've gone to say hello to your husband, 
I saw this, uh, I saw this young lady there, and your mother in law even told me that uh, she is calling her new wife. You must be joking. What, what, kind of, what kind of rumor is this? It's no rumor. I saw her myself. I, I, see, do you know how many times the elders and your husband have had a meeting concerning how to end your marriage and, you know, send you back in or something like that? Me, Carol, sent packing and a new wife brought in. The news is all over everywhere now and, you know, I was wondering why this kind of uh, thing could be happening and you never cared to tell me. Please don't cram my baby. Don't try and go on. Oh, don't hurt me. It's gonna be alright. I'm there. It's gonna be alright. Don't cry. Don't try and I told you I'd be spending just a few days and ended up staying more than a week. But something came up. I know. I... Welcome. How was your mother, by the way? I'm sure she's ecstatic. How was your new wife? Your wife? Carol? somebody to me but I refused. I had that's why I had to stay longer. They brought someone to you, you refused and you had to stay longer at home. What kind of stupid story is that? Huh? Carol, I had to stay longer because of you. I had to defend you before the elders. That's why I st stayed longer and you're leaving me. Please Carol. Family, please live here, except the wife and the mother.
Um, I could have gone. I have not come to sing the praises of anyone today or that of our forefathers because a great calamity has befallen us. A mighty Iroko tree has fallen and I am sure no member of this family is happy the way it fell. No, we are not. The wife said that uh, he felt pains in the heart and died. Mm. <coughs> Amade, that is a cock and bull story. It's not why we are here. Certainly you people will suspect foul play and that there is a hand of monkey in the soup. Um, Aka. A deadly blow of an enemy. Aka, we don't intend to point accusing fingers on anybody now. We want justice done the old-fashioned way. That's right. Have you brought the items I asked you to bring? Yes. Let me have them. Here they are. What I'm going through. Every time I close my eyes to sleep, callings appear to me. Don't be afraid. It is your imaginations that is playing tricks on you. No, Mama. Even when I'm awake, I see him. And he's always holding a machete and a broom. To strike you? No. <sighs> he always tells me how much he loves me. <sighs> Collins cannot harm you. He can't hurt you. Caroline, put your trust in God and you will be okay. You don't have to be scared.
here because I love you. I mean, I love you, that's why I'm here. Don't be scared. Now, madam. You're stupid, I'm not going back there. Anna, I am so scared. I can't sleep. Nightmares after nightmares. I keep seeing Collins in my dreams chasing me. But that's strange. I mean, why would your late husband's ghost haunt you? I don't know, but I can't go back to that house again. I can't. Oh, come off it. I know you miss your husband so much. And it's only normal that you see visions and images of him in your dreams. But do you know why? I don't know. Because you think of him all the time. But you have to stop. He's dead and you have to accept it. I can't stop thinking about him. And I'm so scared. I can't go back to that house alone. Please, please, come and stay with me for a while. Please. I don't know if Jacob will allow me to sleep out. I'll call him. I'll talk to him. He'll understand. Please. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I mean, what are we friends for? Thank you. It's okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Right, I'm with you. I can't sleep anymore. First, I hear the, I hear the sound, like a bird, and then he appears. If I sleep, he'll come back. No, he won't come back. It's okay. I'm with you. You're all right. Don't worry. He won't come back. Okay? Just try and go back to sleep. Try. I'm here. Okay? Just close your eyes. It's okay. Angels and the four powers of the world have already done their part and appointed me to prophesy over it. Uh, Baba, this is my sister I told you about. The holy angels have already told me who she is. Did she come with all I asked for? Yes, yes. I, I came with the chains and three packets of candles. What of the money? You know, traveling from here to the village, will require money to charter a car. Yes, I, I have it. 70,000 naira. Drop it here. Good. You'll be there to show us the grave. It will be done by tomorrow night. Meanwhile, you have to leave today so that you wait for us in the village. O okay. Um I'll write out the directions. I hope you'll be able to find it easily. Carol, why don't you pick him up with your car so you can both live together? Uh, okay. If that's okay with you. No. I'll find my way.
She say a thing like that. Oh, Carol, do you think we are fools? Oh, you think we are idiots, isn't it? I, I just I came to spend time with Mama to, to, to give her courage to bear the loss of Collins. My mother has strike you down, you witch. After murdering my son, you're coming here to give me courage to bear his loss. I don't blame you. Carol, you think we are stupid? Oh. You think the story of Collins dying like a chicken is acceptable to us? Nonsense. Just wait and see. Let me tell you something. If you know where you're coming from, better go back there right now. Listen to me. Okay? If you spend a night here in this house, you will live here tomorrow morning a corpse. Come on, get this out of here. Get her out of my compound now. Come on, take away. Nonsense. Carol is okay now. Eh? It's okay. This thing will only last for a while. Eh? Colin's death was a blow to the mother and some of the kindreds. It's usual they behave this way. It's okay. Stop crying. I didn't kill him. I know. Collins and I loved each other. Why would I murder him? Why? See, in a situation like this, the wife is usually the first suspect. Especially when you are not in good terms with the kindreds. It's okay. Eh? Stop crying. It's okay. Let's go. Good afternoon. Yes, Hi. Good afternoon. Welcome. You're home, Ellie. Welcome. Yes, uh, we do my travel this morning, and uh, there wasn't a lot we can discuss without him. That's why I'm here. Okay. Um, Carlo, you are welcome, eh? Thank you, sir. Uh, um, Monica, can I see you at the backyard? Oh, no. Right there. Okay. Wipe your tears. Stop crying. Are you hearing me? You're trying again. Monica, do you know what you are doing? Are you crazy? Are you mad? What is that woman doing here? Huh. No, but I can't send her away now. Eh? The poor widow came to be with her mother-in-law after losing her husband. But they rejected her. And you, being a reverend mother, you have to accept her into this home? No, please, I can't send her away. Hey, Monica, do you know what you are doing? You want to incur the wrath and the gossip of this kindred on this family. Monica, please, send this woman away. No. She can't go back to the city. Hey, please. The poor woman needs a place to lay her head. Please, man. Hmm? Because... What are you talking about? The husband has a house in this, in this village. And the mother-in-law lives there. Why can't he go there and sleep? But now you know they rejected her. Please. Okay, you know what? Now, just allow her to stay this night. After this night, she will go. Please, I'm begging you. Listen, listen, listen. I'm listening. After tomorrow, no more. Tomorrow is the final day. I don't want to see her here. Do you hear me? I hear you. I'm going to go to my room. Oh, my dear mama. My dear mama. This is the place. Prophet, mm -hmm. I have to go now. I'm scared. And you said I don't have to stay with you. No problem, eh? You can go. This is a man's job, eh? Allow us to do the job. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you. Permission 
by the widow to change this grave and bind the evil spirit here. Evil spirit? My son's grave and evil spirit? The widow. Mini Carol. So Carol sent you here to come and change the grave of Collins? I said it. Did I? You said it. Will you get out of this place? No. We can go until this job is completed. Send down the power. We pray you, Lord. Okay. Wait for me. Send down the power. Wait for me. Children are here, and we are going to carry to our decisions as concluded. Mm? Yes. Mm? What decision? Well, happen? let me inform you, young lady. The connection you have with us in this house is Collins, and Collins is dead. Mm -hmm. So you don't have any more connection with us. Let us not even go into details about Collins, whom you send some people to check. Collins will fight for himself. Yes. yes. The reason why we are here is for you to go into that house, pack your things, and leave us no. and zoom your mother. No. What? She can't yeah. enter this house. She came here without anything, and she must go without anything. So, young lady, move out of this place. Out! Out! out. So, yes, get out! They took everything. Everything. The cars, the houses, and everything in it. And then they threw me out. They threw me out of my own husband's house. You know, I just can't understand. I can't believe this. I can't believe that your in-laws could do such a dehumanizing thing to you. It's because I don't have a son that will fight for me one day. Because my husband is dead. If only Collins were alive. If Collins were alive, they wouldn't treat me like this. That's okay. They wouldn't. Stop crying. So what are you going to do now? Are you going back to your mother's house? How can I go back to my mother's house empty-handed? How? Look, the first thing I have to do is stop Collins from chasing me in my, in my dreams. And then... And then I will fight my mother-in-law and her kindred. It's quite a Herculean task you have ahead of you. I know. But that's why I need your help. You must help me. I hope your husband wouldn't mind if I stay here for a while. Would he? Well, I'll talk to him when he gets back this evening. Okay? Thank you. Just stop crying. Everything is going to be okay. Don't cry. <laughs> Don't cry. Um, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. It's very important. What is it? I learned your friend Carol has been thrown out of the house. <laughs> News sure travels fast. Well, not really, just like the mother-in-law was making so much noise to the late husband's lawyer. And the lawyer is a friend of mine, so he told me a bit of it. Well, darling, she's here. She came to me to shelter her for a while. Shelter? What do you mean by shelter? I mean she'll be staying here until she... Until can... what, woman? Are you insane? No, don't tell me you've not heard about the rumors in town. They're just rumors, dear. Look, I don't want to get involved, please. I don't want to get involved. Darling, all she wants is a place to lay her head. She has a very big problem, a spiritual one. Spiritual? Yes, her late husband's ghost has been haunting her, and she needs help, and I don't know what to do. Where is she now? She went to this prayer house down the road. She'll be back later. Okay, um, get me some water in the fridge. Now, wait a minute. Carol's late husband, Collins, was rich. And Carol must know where all the money is. This is my opportunity. Yes. This is my opportunity.
Ah, darling, yeah. <clears throat> oh, thank you. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I think she can stay for a while. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do something to, to help her. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no problem. I, I think I know one or two great men that can help her. Oh, at last. Thank you, darling. Thank you very much. Hmm? I'm really glad that you found it in your heart to help me. I don't know what I would have done, honestly. No problem. You and my wife are friends, isn't it? See, I can't see you like this and keep quiet. Now tell me. Tell me about the late night disturbances you've been having in your sleep. It's not only late at night, though. Even during the day, as long as I close my eyes. You see, when they buried my husband, they put a matchet and broom in his coffin. I see. So that's the problem. That's what has been killing me. Is that all? Yes. Well, consider that problem solved. Really? Yeah, consider it solved. Are you telling me the truth? There are men from Calabar. Great men. All they need to do is just get to the grave, open the coffin and get those things out just like that. Exactly. That's what I want. Hey, thank you so much. But so much. no problem. But it will cost you some money. How much? Um, let's say um, about four hundred and fifty thousand naira. What? That's too much. Too much? Do you know what it means to open a grave? No, I'm talking about a grave. Do you know what it means to open a grave? Okay. Perhaps you you do it yourself. Uh, no. Uh, no. It, it, as long as they can solve the problem. It's okay, no problem. Thank you. We'll do it. Thank you very much. There's no problem, it's okay. Oh, Thank you. please tell me. I'm sure gonna tell you. Would you please tell me? Why can the men have bees in these hours? Why if there's intrusion? I don't know. Here's the money oh. as requested. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Consider your problem solved. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Consang about all the people's life. Honestly, I don't know. Why don't you leave people alone to live their own life? matters should be strictly handled by the couples involved. Leave them alone. How did they come? I don't problem. But the men complained that it was a strong and tough spiritual fight. Um, but at the end, they got the broom and the matchup. Y'all here. Just come, let me show it to you. Let's mm -hmm. I, I don't want to see them. No, just, just take them away and burn them. Are you sure you don't want to? No. Where are you running to? <laughs> you don't want to see them. I'll see that. I'll them.
Look, those great men you brought from Karaba didn't do anything. They didn't do anything at all. The ghost is still hunting me seriously. That couldn't have been possible. I know what I saw. I can't even go back into my office now. The ghost is disturbing me. <laughs> well, uh, I, I don't know. See, the, the men I hired complained of something. Um, they, they complained of something. Uh, but I didn't deem it necessary to tell you. Tell me what? They said they had to destroy the coffin to get that broom and match it out. But if they don't buy another coffin to rebury the corpse, the ghost may or may not disturb you. What is disturbing me? Can't you see? Look, Jacob, you should have told me. You really should have told me. Well, why I didn't tell you is because they, they requested for extra 700,000 naira. 700,000 naira for what? They have to buy a new coffin, perform some rituals, employ grave diggers, and pay off other people so that no accusing fingers will be pointed towards your direction. Okay. So you're telling me if I give you 700,000 naira now, this problem will be permanently solved? Once and for all. Once and for all. I'm sorry I didn't tell you this earlier, but I just don't want you to spend money anyhow. Okay. Please. Um, I'll give you 200,000 naira now and write out a check for 500,000 naira. Okay. But please, I want this problem permanently solved. Okay. Honey, Carol said she gave you some money to carry out some certain rituals for her. She told you. Well, she wanted me to just stop the ghost that be disturbing her sleep. But she said that she had already given you over a million naira now and the ghost is still haunting her. Look, all she needs is patience. I'm, do I'm doing my best. You think it's easy chasing a ghost? It's not. Well, probably you're just taking advantage of her sorry situation. Advantage? So, so let it be. She's rich anyway. Oh, she's rich. I see. Then um, I guess you have to give her my own court. After all, I initiated her staying here. Okay. You want your court, isn't it? I'll give you your court. But uh, that should be in the bedroom. On my bed, I'll give you your court. Okay? Stop being smart. I'm not being smart. Um, Carol, about what I'm doing for you. You see, the grave diggers I called came back yesterday. Have they done it? Almost. And very soon, all this will be over. You see, yesterday, they were about opening the grave, but they stopped them. That's not possible. My mother-in-law and Amadi are here in the city. Who could have stopped them? This time, some villagers, especially the vigilante and the council members, demanded a tone of 900,000 naira. What? Nine I don't have that kind of money, I don't. If not for the demand of your late husband's village, I mean, all these things will have been done by now. Okay. But I have to go to the bank first. The earlier the better. You know I'm supposed to have traveled, but I just want to stay behind and see this thing works out. Let me just drop you off on okay. your way to the bank. Okay, ma'am. Just let me get my checkbook. Okay. Carol, what's all this? Um, I'm totally exhausted. Day, night, I can't sleep. But I thought you gave my husband some money to sort things out. I've given him close to three million naira, but, but nothing is happening. Have you done your spiritual bath and cleansing? What spiritual bath and cleansing? You haven't done it. No wonder. What's that one again? You see, your late husband loved you so much before he died. And that means that this, his spirit of love is still with you. And as long as that remains with you, you will keep seeing his ghost. Until I do the spiritual bath and cleansing. Exactly. You'll have to take a bath at the river with a spiritualist and some men. God forbid. I can't do that. Then you'll have to pay someone to do it. Just pay the sum of 400,000 naira and case closed. 400,000 naira? I'm running out of cash. Then I guess you'll wait and gather some money. Okay. They brought 350,000 naira today. I'll, I'll give that to you. 
Holland's accounts have been frozen until I can procure the death certificate. Then get it. My in-laws won't give it to me. Uh, okay, let me go take care of this first, okay? And then I'll see you later and we'll talk about the other issue. Okay? Just take it easy. I have to leave now. She'll be back later this evening. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Carol, there's something that came up. What is it this time? You see, everything has been done, but there's one last ritual. Mm -hmm. You see, those spiritualists I called said they saw your pictures in the grave. My pictures? Yes. Near your late husband's corpse. That means they want you dead. God forbid. Hey, oh my God. Oh my God. Carol, Carol, the life is at stake. Look, if you have one million naira, bring it. Let's reverse the cops. One million what? I don't have that kind of money. I don't have it. This is your life we're talking about. I don't have it. Look, I'm broke. I, I gave my life savings to you and your wife. I'm honestly broke. Well, um, I can help you raise the money. Really? You do that for me? Under one condition. What is it? You see, you must pay me back in three months' time. And, um, you, um, you know... I... I will, um... I mean, I'd like to have you. What? Have me as in sleep with me? There's nothing there. Look, my wife won't know. It will be our secret. And you'll get the help you want. Get away from me. You're just a useless man. Look, there's no need being ungrateful. At least I'm shattering you while when everybody has back to turn their back on you, right? Mm. In that case, I will leave your house. I can still afford a room in a hotel. You useless man. You're nothing but a fraud. Idiot. Fool!
Welcome, ma. Thank you. The same lady again? Yes, ma. Madam, honestly, ever since this woman checked in into this hotel, getting to 10 days now, she has been like that. Ha! Huh? Hawala is too much. Enough is enough. Let me have the steak is. The rubbish. Business documents and the bank statement. That is the passbook. Are they? Yes, I saw those ones and I put them away with the the checkbooks. That's right. Entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sweet, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Afarevo Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily. We help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on. 